this beetle is trying to mate with a beer bottle. And in fact, he's dedicated enough to the task that he might get so dehydrated that he dies doing it. Which seems like a really dumb behavior, but don't be too quick to judge, because there's something much deeper going on here. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Minute Earth. Now, the basis for this beetle bottle blunder happened long ago, as male jewel beetles evolved to seek out females' shiny, bumpy brown shells in order to mate. But fast forward many, many years, and we humans are adding all sorts of new stuff to the environment, including this particular type of beer bottle, which just so happens to share the very same qualities that male jewel beetles are primed to seek out. And in fact, these qualities are more exaggerated in the bottle than in the beetle. As a result, males get fooled into behavior that's at best not gonna get the job done, and at worst, could actually kill them. Scientists call these kinds of collisions between an animal's deep-seated instincts and the modern world evolutionary traps. And they are everywhere. Like, Cuban tree frogs evolved to seek out the bioluminescent glow of their insect prey. But these days, hungry frogs are known to get waylaid by the cheery glow of Christmas lights. Now, this mistake isn't deadly, but it does waste a frog's valuable time and energy. And baby sea turtles, which generally hatch at night, rely on reflected moonlight to lead them to the relative safety of the sea. Nowadays, though, bright beachfront lighting can point them in the exact opposite direction. Birds, too, navigate by watching the stars and the moon, but often they mistake humans' lights for their natural navigational cues, luring them towards cities instead of their normal flyways. And once the birds are there, they can encounter an even more dangerous evolutionary trap. See, birds naturally search for open gaps in the landscape to fly through, and in cities, shiny glass windows create picture-perfect reflections, promising gaps that aren't actually there. And counterintuitively, as we've tried to improve urban habitats, like by adding green spaces to city centers, we've actually attracted more birds to these glassy traps and created more tempting reflections, therefore increasing the carnage. In the US alone, window collisions may kill as many as a billion birds per year. Now that we know how big of a problem evolutionary traps can be, we're trying to disarm them, like by using diffused window film to reduce reflections and by limiting artificial light in urban and beachfront areas. And in Western Australia, where those particular beetles and bottles coexisted, beer manufacturers modified their bottle design, eliminating those super sexy bumps and ending the male's misguided love affair. Every spring and fall, we celebrate World Migratory Bird Day, which honors the journey of billions of birds as they fly back and forth between their summer and winter homes. That journey has become more and more dangerous as a result of climate change, habitat loss, and window collisions. Scientists estimate that in North America alone, there are nearly 3 billion fewer birds today than there were in 1970. So Nature Canada, which helped sponsor this video, developed the Bird-Friendly City Certification Program to encourage communities to take bird-friendly actions, like reducing their use of pesticides and decreasing the number of cats running free outside. They're also encouraging communities to create laws to make buildings safer for birds and less, like, well, evolutionary traps. Please visit birds.naturecanada.ca for more information on how you can take action. 